All right, here we go. We ready? And action. That's right, bitch. Good, good. Keep it going just a little bit longer. Good, good. And awesome. Crack it. <laughs> yes, that's it. <laughs> All right, that was fun. My name is, uh, oh, I'll look to get to that, sorry. <laughs> no, keep going. Okay. Uh, hi, my name is uh, David Holacek, and uh, I'm about to shoot some 305 footage. Uh, movie we're doing so yeah check it out so holocheck is the correct pronunciation holocheck yeah okay yeah nobody's pronounced it correctly in any of the <laughs> interviews i've done so far I mean, it, yeah it's it's easily butchered so <laughs> yeah it's uh it's holocheck hollow whatever you know it's it's one of those names i guess so <laughs> we go <going> small world next <laughs> <laughs> i waited an hour for this ride come on <laughs> No, I got a beat up mic a couple times. It's pretty fun. A little headbutt, a little, little punch. Amazing what you can do. Yeah. The bar scene. That was cool. Oh, big, big fish reaction when we grabbed you. Um, usually I have a 125 pound man jump on for no reason. He was like 50. Um, Mike, because we're going to go upstream, stream, play a little around a little bit more. All right. Yeah. And, and Thomas, we're just kidding. We're trying, we're like trying to fight him off. So oh, that move is concerning. So what was the most dangerous weapon used on this set? Uh, the cane that Sonny had. When he, uh, he was shooting, a, we were shooting a fight scene and he hit an extra in the face and it jacked his tooth up and made him bleed and it was dangerous. A little walking cane, craziest thing ever. <laughs> How does one correctly wield that uh, weapon over there? This right here? Yeah. This weapon used to have a lot more, uh, as you see, it had some battle damage on it. It used to have spikes all around, and just from uh, different battle scenes and fighting, it's, it's kind of gone. So, you know, I, I like to, when I, when I have a few scenes in the movie where I'm just, uh, you know, trying to chop some heads off. You know, <laughs> Watch the plant. I don't have any official training with a weapon, but really, neither does anyone else. So, yeah. This is your Rambo character. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Rambo. Exactly. Uh, what do you think of Rambo, Rambo? What I think of it, yeah. I like the, you know, like, like you know, you, you do it like, you know, Rocky, like, five times, and you, it was only like, you, like, you can do Rambo, you know. And then, like, like Burma, you know, like, they got, like, like a lot of problems, you know. And if we could show a little bit of that, like, 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 just, you know, it's like, you know, Were you, uh, were you using the cream steroids or the shot in the butt steroids? I kind of like, you know, the cream, you know, because it like, like, feels good, you know, on your skin, you know, but you kind of like, you got to like, you got to like rub it, you know, it's like, you know, like, I get, I, I like to get like my wife, you know, she kind of like comes in, she's like, hey, I, 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 I play Rambo, you know, and then uh, she like, she like, she does it. Kind of like a good interview, you know, because you got like questions that they ask me, but then you're like, then you kind of like be quiet for a minute, so I don't know what's going on, you know. <laughs> well, the public just wants to hear what you have to say, Rambo. Uh, rolling. Okay, and action. You ever been with a lumberjack? <laughs> One more and just and don't don't say anything because I don't forget to have the audio. I'm just kidding. Open. <laughs> can, can I like blow a kiss at the camera like you're, you're blowing a kiss at everybody? Okay. And roll. Or just like you know, you know, the pucker. And action. Yeah. Okay. One more and don't 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 <laughs> stop quite as much. Just make it more of a fluid walk all the way through. Uh, how, how's that look? Looks pretty good so far.
Okay, so my favorite was we shot um, some scenes. This was pretty early on in, in a warehouse that, um, like a DVD distribution company. Mm -hmm. So they had like, you know, this stuff gets mailed out, mailed out, mailed out all the time. So we were like, what can we pad the other side of this bar with so that when someone gets thrown over, they're safe. And we like, oh my God, there's a stack of padded envelopes. So we stacked it really high on the other side of the bar where the camera couldn't see it. So this guy just flew over on top and it was awesome. He saved there for piss well. How did he feel? How did he feel about it afterwards? I don't know. He ended up better than the other guy with the smashed face. He was fine. No broken bones, no nothing. He was good. <laughs> this is not going to be on the OC Weekly's website, is it? Yes, it is. No. <laughs> Do you not want to be featured in it? Where's the other one? There's I don't mind. <laughs> The other Make a note that I'm on day quilt too. <laughs> Duly noted. <laughs> See the little kids, you want to make movies? Let's no let's, self respect. Let's try, well, let's try one hit. Yeah, I, I was trying to play every character in it, kind of like a Tyler Perry. Mm. But the uh, goes 305 <laughs> kind of a thing. They shot me down on that one. But I have ways, I have ways of getting into every aspect of the film somehow. So you've been working with these guys since Arizona. How does this compare? Oh, this is awesome. Well, it's just, um, I met Dan and Dave in college um, at Vanguard University in Orange County. And uh, being a small school, like, people has really stood out. And they stood out as, like, the talented guys. Like, they, you, right. just, you knew they were upper echelon. And I'm like, I have to hang with these guys. <laughs> and so this is, like, my second year there. So, yeah, I've been around with them since, you know, 2000. And uh, 305 is different just because, you know, we shot Arizona, it was all practical. You know, we, you know, it wasn't green screen at all. And it wasn't until um, we graduated school and came up to the studio here and got really involved in visual effects that uh, we want to utilize green screen. So that's what makes 305 so different is it's a, you know, full, it's a full green screen feature. You're gonna happen, Captain. You're gonna happen, Captain. Right now? You're gonna bitch. You wanna come into my town? You come into my town and my bar? What? And you start coming at me? Yes, the yeah. last man that put his hands on me, he pulled back two bloody stumps. You son of a bitch. Goddamn Persian! Wait! That's right! So, uh, where do we dine tonight? Oh gosh, not one of those. Not one of those. We dine in, uh, we dine in... No, I'm, I'm not going to do it. I was just this long, I'm not going to do it, I'm sorry. I, I'm not going to take a bait. I can't, I'm, I'm sorry, I just can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> let's try let's try standing up. So like for that final battle sequence. It's basically we just did this, but you just do it over and over again and just get a whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of information to make it look like there's hundreds of people fighting when it's really just setups like these that are multiplied over and over again. And what script is that you're holding? This is a script for a uh, no, I don't know if I should say. It's it's uh, it's an MGM film. It's a it's a film for MGM that is into DVD, which we are uh, part of the office is working on a uh, EPK for it, so we got the script in advance. It's a great, great film, great family film. Yeah, I don't want to say sure. coming out this spring. That's for sure. Yeah. Are you sure? You got T-shirts that say October. <laughs> and that kind of sums up this whole process. <laughs> that kind of says it right there. But yes, DVD, yeah. DVD coming out this spring, <laughs> definitely. Yeah.